walk around like a space cadet Place your bets, who's likely to become a serial killer Case of Tourette's Fuck, fuck, fuck Can't take the stress I make a mess as the day progress So it's been a minute since I sat back and told you guys a story This one right here is gonna be an interesting one This took place a while ago So as most of you know, I live in Philadelphia And I used to go to this elementary school called Beach Martin It was an elementary school on one side of the street and then there was like a middle school on the other side of the street so one side of the street it goes from kindergarten up to where is the cutoff for middle school like uh seventh fifth grade does middle school start i don't know let's just say kindergarten to fourth grade is elementary school and then fifth grade up to eighth grade we'll just call that middle school so elementary on one side and then we had middle school on the other side now i told you guys i was a little asshole in school so unfortunately i did not make it to the other side of the school i got kicked out of elementary school i had to go somewhere else me and my sister used to go to the same school so as soon as she graduated from eighth grade we got that letter in the mail saying i couldn't attend Beach martin anymore which was pretty cool because i needed to change scenery i actually hated that school the school that i went to afterwards is called john story jenks i know a very weird name but it was in chestnut hill you know why am i talking like most of you live in philadelphia and know these places that i'm talking about but in a place like chestnut hill you would think that no harm is being done at any school around there wrong you're absolutely wrong but that has absolutely nothing to do with the story i kind of went off on a tangent there let's rewind back to beige martin in elementary school so all of this took place in second grade something funny that happened uh our second grade teacher we actually made her pee on herself because we had one teacher to start off the second grade year with and then she quit and then they brought in this really old lady i don't know why they thought that this old lady would be able to tame us more than the much younger person that quit but she came in there and she was not expecting us to be that horrible it was her first day there and i guess we did something to scare her. i guess she wasn't used to kids being as bad as we were but she was just walking around the classroom and then i just noticed a wet spot on the back of her pants and i I had to point it out so i tapped the person next to me i said the teacher peed on herself and i remember this so vividly and then the class just starts laughing and she wonders what's going on and then somebody i forget who it was points out miss i don't remember what her name was but they pointed out did you pee on yourself and she literally touches the spot and she says oh dear and walks out of the classroom it wasn't me that made her pee on herself i, I promise you god damn it i'm really realizing what the fuck is wrong with me but to get to the main story so there was this guy in my class his name was kyle to this day i despise the name do you know what kind of person you have to be so whenever i hear your name i despise it and i think i think of how much i despise that name do you know how much of a bad person you have to be but kyle he wasn't a bad person i honestly don't think he was a bad person he was just misunderstood kyle's very annoying like so oh my god he had this weird thing that he did he would just make animal noises all the time 24 7 like walking past his desk he's not doing his work he's making animal noises like it sounds like a rainforest every time you walk past his desk he would be on point with it too if there's any job out there that requires that he's your man but nonetheless i'm trying to get my work done and you're distracting me now i'll say this time and time again in school I was, I'm not really, I wasn't, I wasn't really a bad kid. I just wasn't being challenged enough. I would finish my work before everybody. The teacher didn't have anything else for me to do. And what do you expect a kid to do when they don't have nothing else to do? They're going to get into trouble. I was a kid. So I'm sitting there trying to do my work and he's right behind me or a couple desks over and all I hear is quack, quack and roar and all of that. So I'm like, Kyle, can you please be quiet? And this is every day. This is an every day back and forth. And the teacher is doing absolutely nothing. She probably somewhere pissing on her self again that's not funny so this stuff goes on all year long and it never led to a physical altercation or anything like that but it led to that this one time and you may see me wearing this shirt in videos or on stream let me see if it's if i got a clean one i got two of them this shirt right here Camp Gerard. What is this? 2009? At the time, it fit like a dress, but I can fit it now. So I went to the summer camp. It was at Gerard College. I didn't want to be there at the time. I wanted to be at home playing video games. So I'm already coming into this place with an attitude. At the time, I didn't understand why am I doing schoolwork during the summertime, which is kind of ironic because the program at uh, University of Penn that I'm in right now, I'm doing the exact same thing. Crazy how things like that work. So I was at this camp. I walk into the place where they, uh, it's like the place that you meet up before you go into like i guess they broke us into groups i don't really remember that too much so guess who was in my camp fucking kyle kyle was in my camp so immediately in my mind i'm like i'm not gonna let this ruin my summer 
I'm gonna go try to make amends with Kyle. So I walk over to his table and I lie to you not the expression on his face when he saw me. He was sitting over there playing with a paper plane or something like that. And then I walk over to the table and say, what's up, Kyle? And then as soon as he met eyes with me, I swear to God, this is what he did. And man said, I swear to God, that's what he did. And don't get me wrong, I don't wanna ever, ever strike that much fear into somebody. Like, I wasn't a bully or anything like that. I just wanted him to be quiet. I understand he was misunderstood, but I'm trying to get my work done, fam. So I said, what's up? He said, what's up? And I'm like, all right, things are gonna be better. So we're a few days in the program. He's still making his animal noises, and I'm trying to tolerate it because it's like laid back, chill. I mean, yeah, we getting work, but I'm not really taking it seriously or anything like that. So I'm trying to tolerate his animal noises. I'm trying to see into his world. I didn't tell him to stop or anything like that. So like I said, we were a few days in and he's still doing that shit. Like, you don't, you don't understand until you meet him. And I don't know if he's still doing it to this day, but you won't understand if t until you meet him how annoying it was. So we're walking to our destination. I don't remember where we were going. He's still quacking and all of that good stuff. So I say, Kyle, can you please stop? And I keep walking, he doesn't respond. He's still doing it. I say, Kyle, can you please stop? He's still doing it. And finally, I reached my breaking point. I turned around, I said, shut up, Kyle. Punched him square in the face. Totally uncalled for. But in my second grade mind, I felt this that had to happen. I'm not a violent person whatsoever, but just don't push me. He pushed me to the limit. He pushed me to my breaking point. Like, understand, I had to go through all school year with that, not putting my hands on him. And then you expect me to go through all summer? I tried to make amends, man, but he wouldn't stop. It's gotta be some give and take to things like this. Like, I'm trying, you gotta try to ease up off the animal noises too, man. Like, I can't be the only one. So then, and only then, and once it leads to a physical altercation, that's when they decide to split us up. And that was the last time I ever saw Kyle. Also at Camp Gerard, one of the camp counselors threw me in eight feet and I didn't even know how to swim at the time. I threw up in the pool and everybody had to get out. It actually could have been a lawsuit if I died. Could that still be a lawsuit? I'm, I'm not sure. Fuck that bitch though. But I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Before you get up out of here, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I'ma see my King Gaming Squad in the next one. I'm out. Peace.